Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got a video out there on updating firmware on the ICOM 7300, but it's a little bit long. I'm going to show you how I do it these days. I've got an extra SD card here, and I use it for firmware. I'm going to put it into the radio. And we see the icon flashing up here. It looks like it needs to be formatted, so I'm going to go to Menu, Set, SD Card, and then go down to Format, click Yes. Okay, and after I format it, I want to go up and save my settings. So I'm going to tap Save Setting, New File that name's fine enter save and it's completed now I need to transfer the card to my computer so I can load the, that file onto the SD card so I want to go back down to unmount tap yes unmount is complete so I can pop the uh, card out I'm gonna exit out of here first and show you the little SD icon is gone so I'm gonna pop the card out put it in the computer transfer the DAT file to the IC7300 folder and then put it back into the radio okay we put the uh, SD card in the computer and I'm going to go to the ICOM website, download the latest firmware. And this is for the IC7300. Click Agree. And it downloads up here at the top right hand corner. Once it's completed, open up the folder. And then extract the uh, zip file, extract all leave it as a default and it'll pop up here there's the dat file and I need to copy this file into the IC7300 folder on that SD card and my SD card is right here USB drive G there's a 7300 folder so I'm just gonna drag and drop it down there make sure it's in there there it is now I can eject this card and put it into back into the 7300 okay now I have the that file on my SD card I copied it to the IC7300 folder I can put the card in and watch the little icon up there it stays solid it's mounted I can go to menu set SD card now I already have my settings saved on here so I can just go to firmware update gives me a warning I can scroll down tap yes this is the new update tap that do I wish to start the firmware update and I have to hold the yes down for just a second there it goes that looks like it's it now all I have to do is go back in and load my settings I can go to menu set SD card load settings there's the file I just created a few minutes ago tap it select all yes restart the 7300 there we go got the new firmware
I do have another video out there updating the firmware on the 7300 and I do it a little bit different these days I don't transfer the data and the settings over to my computer anymore I found that I just don't use it okay well I hope you find this informative and useful thanks for watching please visit my website www.k0pir.us 73 and good DX